Hello, this is Haku Devin, and today we are going to be reading in SCP-681, also known as Hostile Helium. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Item number SCP-681. Object class Euclid. Special containing procedures. SCP E681 is to be contained in a row of standard pressure tanks rated and to contain helium and gas. All tanks will be chained to the floor or walls of the containment room. The containment room is kept airtight at a near and at near vacuum pressures with two level one staff assigned to check for cha tank lease leakage once a week. Checks are to be made in pressure suits, and none of the gas is to be removed without clearance from level two personnel. In the event of a minor leakage into the storage chamber, the room is to be temporarily flooded with normal air to force SCP-681 into collection traps in the ceiling. Should a very large leak occur, or should SCP-681 breach the containment room, the right personnel are to be supplied oxygen masks immediately, and the bubbles of SCP-681 forming around them are to be siphoned off. Six eighty one can be safely placed in latex balloons without the usual concern of leakage, but no more than three average balloons worth of SCP six eighty one are to remove from it from the containment room at any time. Description Discovered in a warehouse under investigation for several cases of reported death by suffocation, SCP six eighty one is roughly two hundred and one hundred and fifty five. 155 centimeter canisters of helium gas with unusual properties. In the event of leakage in the vicinity of rain wave producing subjects, it will move towards the subject and fill uh, airways inside its cavities with helium gas. In enough volume, this can lead to death via suffocation. While still in the 155 centimeter storage and anisters, it retains some of the capacity to exert mobility, hampered by the weight of the metal container. In lighter containers, such as the few 60 centimeter party sized ones collected with the main batch, SCP 681 can exert enough force to deliver a head concussion. The range of effect is limited to roughly 30 meters, but this is highly variable. If placed in a balloon, it will simply drift towards any thinking organism in the body and repeatedly bump against them. Balloon animals, however, will become slightly animate and act hostile. Oh. Though still largely ineffective due to being simple latex balloon animals. SCP 681 will, through unknown means, migrate into nearby balloons if it breaches containment. Addendum After all this time, someone just now thought to check the serial numbers on the canisters and discover we're missing over a blank of them? Do you all have, no, have any idea how much gas there is in one of those? Dr. Blank. So, it's a whole bunch of helium gas that wants to suffocate people. And they're gonna sound so funny while <laughs> it's trying to end them. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!